how can we address the issue of security and intellectual property for these applications? Because the base code is, code is open source and uh, therefore open and uh, available to everyone. So there's two parts to that, security. Uh, and there's always this worry that if you open up your software, somebody's going to put a Trojan horse in it. In practice, that doesn't happen. Uh, there are some long arguments that security is better in an environment where all your code is visible to a large number of people. And most open source projects, you don't get to just put your code straight into the code base for that open source project. It gets checked over before it goes in. So there's much better checking, I think, on an open source, which leads to better security. When you're working with an open source project, I think that the, the primary, and this comes to another question also about how to commercialize it, the primary push is not about getting everybody to buy your project. It's getting people to use it and getting people to, to contribute back to it. And again, back to the community. And I think that the protection for the project in itself comes out of the people who are using it and the people who recognize your moral right to exercise the authority of having having started or, or are being the primary maintainer of such a project. 